Praise be Jesus Christ. What is it about trees? Trees have this mysterious way of teaching us wisdom and lifting our hearts and souls to God and bringing us peace and revealing to us the wonders of God. Let me read to you from Brother Lawrence of the Resurrection from his little book, The Practice of the Presence of God, which is the book of the month for February, those of you who are part of my school of reading. It says at the beginning, at the age of 18, while in military service, Brother Lawrence had an experience of God that began his spiritual journey. During winter, he saw a barren tree stripped of leaves and fruit. While contemplating the upcoming springtime and the transformation that would happen to the tree, a transformation of his soul occurred. Brother Lawrence had awakened to the presence of God. That awareness of divine presence continued unabated for the rest of his life. And this little book that speaks about living in the presence of God is now one of the great classics in Christian spirituality. Now, I've been going for a daily walk lately um, for the last couple of months. I love it. I love looking at the wonders of God's creation. But there's something about trees that I don't know what. It's like, it's like trees teach me wisdom. They, they, they give me peace and they reveal something about the, the greatness, the wonders, the beauty of God. And I can't explain it. Maybe someone can explain this to me in the comments. But I found a scripture that speaks of this mystery. Check this out. This is Psalm 96, beginning in verse 11. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the sea and what fills it resound. Let the fields be joyful and all that is in them. Then let all the trees of the forest rejoice. Before the Lord who comes, who comes to govern the earth. Brothers and sisters, rejoice in the Lord, especially when you're in his beautiful creation. When you are in God's creation, open your eyes to see the wonders of God. Viva Cristo Rey.